No question, golf stirs the spirit and creates a lasting memory of wonderful times together. That's why businessmen and businesswomen are playing golf now in record numbers. This week, Business Golf is in Grand Rapids, Michigan for the Farmers Charity Classic to take an inside look at just how Farmers Insurance uses their annual Champions Tour event to grow business relationships and enhance their market position. We'll learn firsthand from Chief Marketing Officer Jack Hannigan why they do what they do and what's been their big payback. Then it's on to the Michelob Light Open in Kingsmill, Virginia, where Executive Chairman Tony Pontero tells us how Anheuser-Busch is using golf to keep themselves atop the leaderboard in the very competitive beverage industry. Recently, we caught up with LPGA Commissioner Ty Votaw, who shared his thoughts on the explosion of corporate involvement and the overall role that business is playing in women's golf. In our segment, Match Play, we'll discuss character and integrity out here in the golf course and just what bumping the ball in the rough you know, improving your position might signal to your business associates and customers. In this week's Bucket of Ball segment, we've kept you time-pressed golfers in mind. The tips and drills you're about to receive are going to help you get the most out of your golf game in the least amount of time possible. Let me show you how you can make more green when you're on the green. In our Red Tea Journals, teaching pro Kathy Hart gives us a few pointers on dealing more effectively with that bullheaded boss or egocentric colleague. What makes for a successful corporate golfing event? We learn from the king of the corporate outing, Champions Tour star Dave Stockton, and Ken Kennerly of International Golf Partners, how to swing an unforgettable golf experience. These are the stories linking business to golf. So sit back, relax, and tee it up with us and enjoy a round of business golf. It's funny. Uh, my first few years, I, I wore Munsingwear. After Munsingwear, Landmark signed me, and I was two years with them, and that was 81 and 82, and I won the Masters in 82 and, and you know, four, three other events. Won the money title, and at the end of, uh, the, end of the year, they wanted to re-sign me for 83, and I flew into Palm Springs and sat down with Ernie and Ernie Vossler and, and the rest of them, and, and uh, they sat at the table and said, you know, Greg, you had a really great year last year, leading money winner, and and we really want to make it worth worth your while to wear our clothes next year, and and uh, you know we're we're more than happy to to raise you from your annual uh, compensation from five thousand to seventy five hundred for next year. 